The Port of Oswego is already a busy place, but it's about to get a lot busier. With the St. Lawrence Seaway opening today, they expect ships as well as trucks and trains that are working now to be moving more cargo. More of that cargo is edible, and its quality control is coming from a partnership with SUNY Oswego. Laura Hand explains. What you're looking at is quality control on food that will be eaten around the world. And it's being done by SUNY Oswego students. Trucks, 40 to 50 a day, bring tons of grain to the port of Oswego. And before it's unloaded, it's tested. We grade any grains that trucks bring into us and occasionally ships. Today it was soybeans grown near Canandaigua headed to Vietnam. The check is for weight and for things that should not be here. Anything from shells from the soybeans to uh, corn uh, to sometimes we get little bugs that are in there, um, rocks, that sort of stuff. The students who work here are co-oping, which means they're getting paid for what they do. Ten students have gone through this program so far, and what they do here, they learn back on campus. The demand for food is not going to go away. In fact, it's only going to double and triple very, very quickly. So we know that this is, in fact, a career path for many, many students. 40% of the port's business is grain, but they expect it to be number one over aluminum soon. Ships will start bringing corn from Canada for Fulton's ethanol plant. You have a student that's getting practical experience, the fact that they're working, the fact that at the end of this uh, uh, particular assignment, most likely they'll be employed by the industry. If I was a parent, I'd be doing backflips. 0.40. SUNY Oswego is waiting to hear on federal certification for this inspection program. The guarantee of quality will add to the value for the port and for the local economy. In Oswego, Laura Hand reporting. Well, as the Port of Oswego expands, they're also looking to save money. Some of the heavy equipment used to move cargo is actually Army surplus, bought as our military left Iraq.